Rachel, thank you so much for coming on the program tonight. Uh, happy post-election to you. Hi there. How's that post-election hangover coming for you? You know, I, I was up so late on the air, I didn't have a post-election hangover. I was just glad I could sleep in on uh, Wednesday morning. I would think I, it, it, I, I, I'm laying in bed at like 4 o'clock in the morning. We were broadcasting till 2 a.m., and I'm laying there, and I just could not turn my brain off. It was, it was an incredible night. I know. I think all of us were up watching the results come in, and uh, it was an exciting night, and it was a good night for gun owners. We, you know, we had a great victories all across the country at all levels of government, and what a great night to show how wonderful this country is and how our system works. Absolutely. Now we were talking uh, just a couple of minutes ago, and you know, you you, you look at the uh, you know some of the clear victories uh, where in Pennsylvania you had Pat Toomey elected to the U.S. Senate. Ron Johnson in uh, Wisconsin, you were saying that uh, you've been able to look at the makeup of the U.S. Senate before Election Day and then now after Election Day in terms of the number of A-rated candidates, A-rated right. senators? That's right. Uh, after the 2008 elections, there were 43 A-rated senators, and now there are 50 A-rated senators in the United States Senate. That's astounding. That is good news for gun owners. It is a great day for gun owners. In addition to that, after the 2008 elections, there were 258 in the U.S. House. And now, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. There were 226 uh, representatives, congressmen in the uh, House, and now there are 258. So, you know, like I said, we have great victories ahead of us. Uh, Tuesday was a success for gun owners. We're excited to continue working with those who uh, were reelected and to start relationships with those who are new and who are freshmen, and we're ready to get going. That is awesome. I mean, when you look at those numbers, and those are just the A-rated candidates. There are That's more B-rated candidates that hopefully will use the next couple of years to boost those ratings up to an A. That's right, and you know, Congressmen, senators, legislators all across this country know that it's a political loser to be on the wrong side of the Second Amendment. And that's why we, they, want to, they want that gun support. They want that gun vote because NRA members, gun owners, they get out there and vote. And we prove that on Tuesday. In addition to that, uh, they will lose their jobs if they are on the wrong side of the Second Amendment. And that was proven on Tuesday as well. Absolutely. And, you know, the other... Uh... The other aspect of election night is, is what happened uh, in states around the country where, you know, again, I think we saw uh, in Wisconsin a huge barrier to right to carry uh, goes down with the election of uh, Scott Walker to the governor's position there. He's a guy who supported right to carry in the past. And then, you know, I have not been able to look, Rachel, at the candidate grades, but we saw... Um, a lot of state houses and a lot of state senates uh, get more, quote unquote, conservative, become more red. You have to think that that's going to pay uh, some amount of dividends for gun owners in those states as well. Uh, you know, you, you, you look at the landscape and and boy, there are some incredible opportunities to uh, to make great strides in protecting and securing and strengthening the Second Amendment. You're absolutely right, and we will continue to do that, and we'll continue to take advantage of opportunities that we have to make sure that gun owners continue to have freedom in this country, and this is just a great day. We're very excited, and we're ready to get back to work and working on gun issues. Now that the elections are over, um, we're about to get, we're ready to get back to politics as usual and just get back to, to doing our jobs and fighting for the Second Amendment. Well, it is just about that time. I mean, we're going to be looking at uh, some legislative sessions uh, coming back or, or some legislators coming back for uh, end of year sessions. And then, you know, as soon as January 1st rolls around, uh, a lot of the state legislators will be firing up for their usual sessions. I know that uh, state liaisons around the country right now are hard at work talking to uh, state representatives, state senators, governors about uh, the legislative agenda. And I, I, I feel confident in saying, Rachel, that around the country uh, the NRA is going to be uh, pursuing a, a very aggressive agenda at uh, strengthening the Second Amendment. That's right. We can be very confident that there are a lot of strategic meetings going on all across this country with legislators and our lobbyists. We don't want to tip our hats right now. You know, uh, not, not right now. It's a little too early, but uh, come January, we'll certainly have 
a lot of things to talk about. All right. Well, listen, Rachel, thanks again. Uh, a great election night for uh, gun owners across the country, for NRA members as well. And thanks for, uh, for coming on the program tonight. Thank you. Rachel Parsons, NRA ILA Media Liaison, joining us here on Cam & Company.